The IVC filter clinic has really changed the way the entire nation, as well as Kaiser Permanente, thinks about using IVC filters. An IVC filter is a metal device that's placed in the inferior vena cava, which is the largest vein in the body. The intention of it is to intercept clots that may be in the legs from going to the heart and subsequently to the lungs. Nationally, there's been a lack of understanding of filter practice patterns, a lack of filter indications, and a lack of follow-up. In 2010, August, the FDA actually issued a warning and an advisory on the use of retrievable IVC filters. And the concern was that they were not being retrieved, they were being left in way too long. Stephen actually developed a brilliant idea that we could actually start tracking our patients in KP who have filters. I'll be talking to you today about IVC filters and what I believe is a new era of responsibility. The IVC filter clinic has essentially three components. The first is education. This is, from my perspective, is the most important part. It's where we change practice patterns. It's like about 22% permanent filters. There. The second component is filter formulary. I did an extensive review of the literature to look at which filters are associated with specific complications, and we eliminated the filters that we felt were potentially dangerous to our patients in the long term. We've seen cases in Northern California. Of and the third component is the tracking. We've set up a color-coded system where filters will show up on your screen and change colors for each patient to alert us when uh, filters need to come out or if we're past due. And by tracking these patients and identifying which ones can have the filter subsequently removed, we can have a dramatic effect on patient outcomes and a dramatic effect on proper use of the filter in these patients. What are your thoughts on that? IVC filters used to be placed fairly frequently. Now we're being much more selective about which patients get these filters. If you look at our data now, a couple years out, our filter follow-up rate is 99.5%. We're also tracking patients from other hospitals that would come here. The FDA requirements are following us now because we started this registry. Dr. Wong's been innovative in getting that on board before there was any regulations involved. So it actually provides more cutting-edge patient care. Referral for an outside filter. Stephen Wong has really taken a diverse group of talent uh, from our analysts, from our clinicians, from our frontline physicians, and gotten everyone engaged in putting together a program that's going to benefit thousands and thousands of our members. Version one we could still use. In 2013, we were awarded uh, funding by Kaiser Permanente for a national registry. We're very proud of the fact that we're the first implant registry completely funded by Kaiser Permanente. You may feel a little bit warm, may have a funny taste in your mouth, that's all normal, don't be alarmed by that, okay? We have a physician here that is not just making a contribution to our members, his work uh, goes well beyond that, it's true innovation. He went about doing something that hadn't been done and creating a system in place to protect our patients as well as educating our physicians. A lot of us have good ideas and even great ideas but this was an idea that was not just good or great, it was stellar, and it was carried out, and it works. Ms. Smith, the filter came out without a problem. Stephen Wong is one of the most innovative and inspirational leaders that I've had a chance to meet. He has changed the way that the academic community and the clinical community thinks about using IVC filters. Wow.